Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from the sky and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as we enter into ordinary time, We find ourselves today on the day after the baptism of our Lord by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. And uh, we covered that, of course, on uh, Monday, which was uh, the Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. And so today we're, we're looking at the subsequent action of what took place following that great day. And in John's Gospel, we have uh, John the Baptist kind of reflecting on what had happened the day before at the baptism of our Lord, and then also uh, talking about the importance of what he was doing, but the fact that what he was doing doesn't even come close in comparison to the reason why he was doing it, and that was to prepare the way for the Messiah who was to come. And that that Messiah he is pointing out uh, here as Jesus walks by and he says, Behold the Lamb of God. We know by tradition that uh, there were, uh, well, by the uh, scriptures, there was two there. Uh, one was Andrew, and by tradition, we believe the other one was John. And um, they, they immediately, at the time that, that John the Baptist made this announcement, uh, went ahead and followed him. But there's some interesting things here that, uh, that John the Baptist was saying. Uh, he, first of all, it's interesting when he said, I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. Now, we know that they're cousins. We know that, uh, that there was an early meeting uh, when both of them had not, not yet been born. But there is very little indication that they had a lot of contact following that time. And so it would be very uh, easy for John the Baptist not even to recognize who it is that was coming in terms of being his cousin. But at the same time, he was also uh, working on the premise that God was instructing him along the way and that here are the ways that he would know it was the Messiah. And so he said this twice, I did not know him, but the reason I came, that he might be made known. And then I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, on whomever you see the Spirit come down, and uh, that he is uh, the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. So he's saying that, uh, that there was no intention, there was no collusion between he and Jesus, that it wasn't that the two of them had gotten together and decided upon this very unique uh, um, approach to unveiling the Messiah. John the Baptist was very clear that this was not something that he did in like a conspiracy with with Jesus. That first of all, uh, he did it, he went out there to make known whoever it was that was the Son of God. And secondly, he said that, that he was given instruction that uh, from God the Father that he would know the one because he would see the Spirit descend upon him. 
So these are the qualifying aspects. It isn't that, uh, that they knew each other before. It isn't that he had a preconceived idea. John the Baptist was very clear in letting people know that this was based on the revelation that God had shown him. And God made it very clear to him that the one upon whom the Spirit came down was the Messiah. And so truly he is testifying. He says, now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. And so this, again, is an opportunity for, for us to remember that this was like the beginning, the identification that Jesus is coming into his own, into ministry at about 29 to 30 years of age. And so here is this young Jesus coming to a just slightly older John the Baptist, six months older. And here, this amazing transaction between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit took place as Jesus went into the baptismal waters. This is, a, uh, a, again, it's a powerful time in Jesus' ministry, setting him up for what is yet to come. And so, again, today we see two disciples beginning to follow Jesus. And as uh, they do, uh, John the Baptist's ministry will be short-lived after this. You may remember he will be arrested and put in jail by uh, Herod the Tetrarch. But this today in our reading is like the culmination for John the Baptist. I have seen and I testify he is the Son of God. In a sense... He has done everything he was supposed to do to make sure that Jesus was made known to Israel. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, it's good to be with you as we begin week two of Ordinary Time and uh, look forward again, the Lord willing, to being together each day as we do Explore the scriptures in the daily mass on day by day. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.